It's Weekend Update with Colin Jost and Michael Che. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Weekend Update. I'm Michael Che. And I'm Colin Jost. Apple has announced that it will add hundreds of new emojis to its iOS system, including a person at a spa, a vomiting face, and a shushing finger finally giving emoji fans the ability to describe what it was like to work for Harvey Weinstein. <laughs> Weinstein. Weinstein, who's been accused of multiple counts of sexual assault, is reportedly going to Europe for sex rehab. Somehow, I don't think that's going to help anybody. <laughs> he doesn't need sex rehab. He needs a specialized facility where there are no women, no contact with the outside world, metal bars, and it's a prison. <laughs> This is a tough spot for a comedian because it's so hard to make jokes about sexual assault, but it's so easy to make jokes about a guy that looks like this. <laughs> I mean, he looks like chewed bubblegum rolled in cat hair. <laughs> Weinstein told reporters that he was seeking help and added, we all make mistakes. No, nah, man, a mistake is me walking into the wrong bathroom and using it anyway because I was crowning. But you... <laughs> You assaulted dozens of women. That's not a mistake. That's a full season of Law and Order. Your name's a verb now, dude. As in, if this guy tries to Weinstein me, I'm gonna cut off his little Harvey. Uh, doesn't he look like a well-dressed skin tag? <laughs> After issuing a series of executive orders designed to dismantle the Affordable Care Act, President Trump tweeted that the Democrats' Obamacare is imploding. Dems should call me to fix. Well, you can't say it's imploding when you're actively destroying it. Godzilla never tweeted, Tokyo is totally imploding right now. I alone can solve. <laughs> Experts are now worried that Trump actions could destabilize Obamacare markets, which brings the number of things Trump has destabilized up to all of them. <laughs> but this is what Trump does. He just messes everything up and then just rolls away like an old lady knocking over a wine display with her rascal scooter. <laughs> he doesn't care if other people get hurt. He just keeps moving. And then we hear, clean up on aisle Puerto Rico. <laughs> During the signing ceremony for his executive orders on health care, President Trump walked away without even signing it. But then good old Mike Pence was there to remind the teacher that she forgot to assign homework. Yay! <laughs> Several aides to President Trump are reportedly saying that he is unraveling and losing a step. Okay, but what point exactly was he ever in step? Because from here, it's been like nine months of watching the cat try to walk in Timberlands. <laughs> During a speech at the Value Voters Summit yesterday, President Tons of Fun said this. You know, we're getting near that beautiful Christmas season that people don't talk about anymore. <laughs> they don't use the word Christmas because it's not politically correct. Well, guess what? We're saying Merry Christmas again. Dude, people say Merry Christmas all the time. My deli guy is Muslim, and he says Merry Christmas every time he makes me a ham sandwich. <laughs> I don't want to say Merry Christmas anymore, because I don't like that Trump supporters always want us to be specific when it's about stuff that's important to them. You know, it can't be Happy Holidays. It's got to be Merry Christmas. It can't be Save the Planet. It's got to be America first. But then when somebody wants to stand up for black people or gays or women, they're like, hey, wait a minute. What about everybody else? <laughs> so, you know what? Think of it as me saying happy holidays anymore. Think of it as me saying all holidays matter. Yeah. <laughs> In a press conference, President Trump continued to question the legitimacy of network news, saying it's frankly disgusting the press is able to write whatever it wants to write. Although I think if the media could write whatever they wanted, they would have reported Hillary Clinton as next president. <laughs> Military officials have announced that they will increase missions to train, advise, and assist troops in the African nation of Niger. The focus on Niger is viewed as a direct challenge to President Trump's autocorrect. 